Today I'm going to show you how our family created an inexpensive patio that was less time consuming and less labor intensive than a traditional type patio. So the first step is to mark your area that you're going to be digging. You'll notice there are some stakes there. We used 16 inch by 16 inch blocks. We did them seven blocks long and eight blocks wide. And you'll notice the stakes there are actually where the paver patio blocks are going to go. So we actually dug out a little bit further than that. Next, we're going to remove the grass and dirt. We went two inches down and we wanted to, the patio to be slightly higher than the grass level around it. This is gonna be your hardest job and your most labor intensive, but you won't have to go six to eight inches down that you would have to do if you were using gravel. Step three, level the dirt with a two by four level. We have a two by four with a level on top of it and we are using that to level all the dirt and make it all even. Next, you're going to want to use a tamper to tamp down the dirt and make sure that it's nice and tight and that it continues to be level. The next thing that you're going to want to do is to lay out weed prevention fabric and secure it into the ground with plastic pins. This is the type of fabric that does not have any holes in it. You want this to be solid. Next, you're going to want to spread and level sand to a half inch depth. We used a half inch diameter dowels taped together to guide the two by four over. This may seem tedious, but we ended up with a nice level surface. Here is how it looks when the sand is all level and straight. Okay, so what makes this patio project easier is that we are using these foam paver pads to put our patio blocks on top of instead of using gravel. If we were using gravel, we would have to dig down a lot deeper and it would be a lot harder and it would take a lot longer. So we are just laying those out. Remember we had those stakes that were in a little bit and we used those stakes as a guide to start laying the foam pads and the blocks down. Once we get all the blocks down, we're going to put down some edging and we're going to put that edging so that the flat surface is against the patio and the triangular teeth are facing out. And then we're going to be um, putting locking sand over the top of the patio to lock all of the blocks in place. And obviously we're staking down the edging. And we also took some gray clay and we put that on the edges of the blocks to keep the sand in place and to keep it from falling out the sides. So after we did that, you can see how it looks. We put our gazebo up and we really did need to put a border in. So what we ended up doing was we ended up making a larger uh, perimeter. We ended up having it 12 inches total from the patio. So we, we dug additionally all around to make sure we had that 12 inches all around from the patio. We put down fabric um, that is weed prevention fabric, but it is uh, it had holes in it for drainage. And then we put the river rocks in. And then we put more edging down, this time with the flat edge out and the triangular edge inside. Actually, we put that edging down first before we filled it in with the rocks. And there is a nice picture of our blocks. I recommend getting the blocks that you want, even if you have to spend a little bit more. I definitely think it's worth it. And we're really happy with this project. Um, we spent a couple nice years on this patio. We moved from this house. We don't live here anymore. But um, the patio held up real nicely while we were living there. And from what we understand, the people who live there now are still enjoying it and they really like it. I do have a blog post I will link below in the description box. It includes a diagram with dimensions on it and it also includes the list of supplies and what they cost us. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment if you have a question, we'd love to answer it for you. And I will see you in the next video.